Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I am doing good. I'm already dressed up or together, as you can tell. Baby is outside doing her business. And I'm going to be hanging out with mom today, it looks like. I was gonna go mountain biking, but yeah, we're not doing that now. Things have changed. So we're gonna go shopping and I don't know, go shopping and then, ooh, later then I'm gonna be going to um, Evansville to a town, or to a, to a town. I'm going to go to Evansville to um, a club down there called Boogie Nights. I'll be going down there with a couple friends of mine. And same ones that didn't want to be on camera last night, so maybe they'll be on camera today. I don't know. She may be. I doubt he will, though. He might. I don't know. We'll find out. So, I'm going to do that. It's going to be an easy day. I had insomnia last night. I didn't wake up till, or to go to bed till like 6.30 this morning. But, I did upload two videos and everything else, but I just couldn't sleep. I don't know why. At about 6.30 this morning, I finally laid down and it worked. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Time to go get Trixie. Okay, so I don't need to get Trixie. Mom is gonna take Trixie out. So more power to her. Um, baby's got food. So I wanna show you a trick. Not everybody knows about baby's tricks. So I'm gonna show you some baby tricks. Da -da -da. So since she pooped, she gets a bone. And she knows she gets a bone because she's sitting down. So watch, I wanna show you a little trick. We're gonna show this. Da -da. Baka, 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 baka. Stop. Down. Stop. Stop. Down. Down. Stop. Yes or Thunder. Good girl. <laughs> She's my puppy. She can shake your hand. She can give you a hug. But if she gives you a hug, you gotta watch out. Because you gotta be able to be, you gotta prepare yourself to catch a hundred and 135 pounds now? Yeah. Because when she goes up on her hind legs, she just falls over into you. And then she puts her heart, her front legs, they go like right here. It's kind of cool. But that's her hug. She'll shake your hand. She'll sit down. She rolls over. Um, she knows when to go. It's going to be dark in here for a second. Yeah. She knows to go home. She knows all that good stuff. So it's it's kind of fun. So let's go on. Let's go. Let's go have fun. y'all could have seen this um ta -da, I got haircut um I went through Emerson um you fail I went through and as going through and cutting the hair right here I had I gotta look in the mirror real quick so I can see what I'm looking at right here there there let's see yeah, there, there, and there. 
it made racetrack lines with it. And I don't know what the heck happened. So I went through there and I tried adjusting the stuff on it and it was just combing it. It wouldn't even cut it. So I was like, well, okay, those are brand new. But anyway, now I have a haircut. I'm gonna hop in the shower, get ready, and then we're gonna go boogie. It's gonna be fun. I forgot to bring my camera. I left it here at the house. I'm sorry. Um, I went to a club called Play, and it's in Louisville, Kentucky, with some friends, and um, it was fun. Um, one of the, one of the, one of the, it's a drag show, and nightclub and stuff like that. But one of the, um, queens that is there is Jade Jolie, who was on RuPaul's Drag Race. She's one of the main people that are there. And while I was there, for anybody that follows my Twitter, um, I ran across, um, uh, Jesse Coulter, who is in the adult industry, and he, last time I saw him was three years ago, it was quite interesting because, um, I ran into him here, the first time I ran into him was whenever I first came out, and, uh, some friends that I was there with at the time had told him that I just came out and everything and he walked up to me and he was a, a dancer at the at the, the club that we were at the, at that time and he'd walked he took stepped away from everybody walked up to me and well <laughs> actually kind of crawled up to me because he was on the bar and he grabbed me by the shirt and everything I was wearing pulled me up and told me he said you're now that you've done it you're you you're gonna feel more free but at the same time hell for you has only has just begun but keep in mind that now you're free with it and if anybody tries to tell you any different they can fuck off and don't let them don't let their to try to control you or make you something that you're not be yourself and be true to yourself and I've dealt I've lived by that this entire time ever since I've came out because we are us and we are who we are and nobody can change that and when I saw him tonight and I bumped into him, I reminded him of that, of him telling me that. So I got a great big huge hug and everything else. It was kind of cool. So it was fun. And I'm losing my voice because I did a lot of screaming. Oh my God, I did a lot of screaming and yelling and oh, it was so much fun. But I am home and I'm going to upload the footage, possibly try to edit this tonight or at least render it and then... I'm going to go to bed because it is like 4.30 in the morning right now. So, yeah. Until then, catch you on the flip side. Later. Please hang up and try again.